some of the craziest balls I've ever seen to an NBA team actually drafting a dog. These are 20 NBA facts you didn't know. And I bet you didn't know that an NBA player spent over 100000 buying their wife. Yeah, this is NBA legend Manu Bol, and he found his dream girl while living in Sudan, a Tong Bol. Only problem was, her dad wasn't gonna let her marry anyone unless they were paying big. So Manu dropped $100,000 on 80 of the finest cows in the land and traded them all for the love of his life. Yeah, that actually happened. Now, giving away 80 cows will definitely hurt your pockets, but nothing hurts more than our 19th fact. Cause I bet you didn't know about the banned NBA ball that made players' hands bleed. See, back in 2006, after over 30 years of using the same basketball, the NBA wanted something fresh. So, they introduced the Spalding Synthetic, a ball made out of fake leather and microfibers, hoping it would improve the game, but instead, it sparked outrage, with players like Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki complaining that the ball was literally cutting up their fingers. So the NBA launched an investigation and found that the microfibers in the ball were causing players' hands to bleed, forcing the NBA to ban it immediately. Man, that's one ball I never touch. One, our 18th fact really take some balls. Cause I bet you didn't know that NBA players lie about their height. Like Chris Paul, for example. The guy is listed at six foot one, but in reality, he's five foot 11. Or Dwayne Howard, who's listed at six foot 11, despite actually being six foot nine. And all this capistry is because for years, players were able to measure themselves with their shoes on. But in 2019, the NBA put their own foot down telling players they gotta be measured without shoes and be honest about their height. And look, as a short king myself, I understand adding a couple of inches, all right? But what I'll never get is our 17th fact. The time an NBA player was once traded for a copy machine. Yeah, uh, back in 2003, the Nets drafted Kyle Korver with the 51st pick. But immediately after the draft, they realized they needed something better. So they sold him to the Sixers for 125,000 cash. And after paying league fees, the Nets took the rest of the money and bought a brand new state-of-the-art copy machine. You should have been Jersey, right? Yeah. And they, who did they draft? No, they sold me. They sold you. They sold me for like, they, they paid for summer league and they bought a copy machine. <laughs> someone, someone really told me this. They bought and a copy I, machine. And, the money I, that and they sold I repeat, for. a player for a printer. I don't know what the Nets were inking. Well, look, for our 16th fact, we got to talk about the Washington Bullets. Because I bet you didn't know they changed their name over an assassination. See, in 1995, Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin was leading a peace rally when, all of a sudden, a shot rang out, killing Robin instantly. And as news of the murder spread, it affected no one more than Bullet's owner, Abe Pollock. Because it turns out, those two were lifelong friends. And after that, Abe felt it was insensitive to have his team called the Bullets. So, just four days later, he officially changed the name to the Washington Wizards. Man, that is a crazy story. But in our 15th fact, I bet you didn't know that mop boys are making crazy money. I'm talking as much as lawyers. See, every game, these dudes put their lives on the line. From getting trucked by players, to taking balls to the face, and even getting harassed by refs. Mop boys got it rough. So the NBA makes sure they get paid, with some making as much as $100,000 a year. God damn, even their bank accounts are clean. But what's dirty? is number 14, cause there's no way you knew that NBA players fake their injuries. Yeah, and they do it to draw fouls, get extra days of rest, or even fake a torn ACL just to take a little poop break. I'm looking at you, Paul Pierce. No, I, I, I never poop my pants. But sometimes, lying about an injury can cost them thousands. Cause back in 2022, the Miami Heat were fined 25,000 for lying about their players' injuries. And the Heat were pissed. So they fired back by listing their entire team as injured, just to be petty. Damn, Miami was butt hurt. But well, speaking of butts, we got number 13. The fact that Charles Barkley's gigantic ass literally caused a rule change. See, back in the 90s, Barkley was using his butt to back dudes down all game. Yeah, he stayed throwing it back. But everyone thought it was unfair. No one wanted to get near that dump truck. 
So, the league decided to butt in and introduce the Barkley rule, which said that a player only has five seconds to back their opponent down. Yeah, this man's butt changed the NBA. That's just weird. But not as weird as number 12, cause you probably had no idea that NBA players have the weirdest habits ever. You got Karan Butler chewing straws during games, Rajon Rondo who would take 10 showers a day, and Harold Miner who would touch everything with his nose. And I mean everything. But by far, the weirdest habit comes from Jason Terry, cause he used to take his opponent's shorts and sleep in them. And the night before each game, I sleep in the opposing team's game shorts. Yeah, that's sus. But our 11th fact is juicy. Cause you probably didn't know that the NBA tests players for steroids after every big game. And nobody's safe. Cause everyone from John Morant to De'Aaron Fox have been hit. I mean, the NBA even came knocking after Damian Lillard dropped 71 points. I mean, honestly, I was like, are y'all serious? I did the urine test yesterday, and then they backed it up with the, the blood draw tonight after the game. That's actually my first time in my career being tested after a game. And then aside from that, they know that I'm scared of needles. So I know I got a lot of tattoos, but when you're doing the blood draw, it's different than, it's different than tattoos. But I was, it, it brought me down from, from here to the floor. Yeah, it was damn time for his drug test. But uh, it's also top 10 time, so. We're gonna dive a little deeper, and I bet you've never heard of the NBA player who ruined his life with a bag of ice. Yeah, meet BJ Tyler, who in 1995 signed a five-year deal with the Raptors worth six million. And going into his second season, the future was looking bright for BJ. But one day after practice, his ankle was a little sore, so he decided to wrap some ice around it and take a quick nap only to wake up a few hours later with zero feeling in his foot, cause the ice had literally frozen his nerves to death, leaving his ankle completely useless and forcing him to retire. Man, I feel bad for BJ, that blows. But what blows for everyone is number nine, cause I bet you didn't know about the most hated ref in the league. See, when it comes to refs, they can't please everyone. Fans, players, even coaches get heated. But most of the time, it's nothing serious. Unless it involves this guy, Scott Foster. Because this man has issues with some players that go beyond basketball. I mean, whenever Julius Randle sees Scott, it's on sight. Or James Harden, who said publicly, Scott shouldn't even be allowed to ref. But nobody hates Scott more than Chris Paul. Because Chris has lost 14 straight playoff games that Scott Foster is refed in. Man, this NPC's ruining the game. But for number eight, we gotta talk about the main character, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Cause I bet you didn't know that before the NBA, Giannis was a movie star. See, back in 2012, when Giannis was just 17 years old, he and his mom got cast in an Australian movie called Dead Europe. And while Giannis only had one scene, it was clear that he was gonna be a star. Yo, Chef. Quiet, please, it's late. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking for Natalia and Joseph. He left long time ago. I was, I was just with them. She's dead, gone. Damn, that's legendary. And so is number seven. Cause I bet you didn't know that the Lakers tried to draft a dog. Yeah. See, nowadays, the draft only has 60 different picks. But back in the day, teams had as many as 239 different picks in a single draft. And team owners thought there was way too many picks. So to get their way, they made a complete mockery of the later rounds. Uh, like the Lakers, who in 1977 literally tried drafting Scooby-Doo and a wooden chair. Or the Kings, who actually drafted Caitlyn Jenner. And if that wasn't crazy enough, Hawks GM Pat Williams wanted to celebrate the birth of his newborn son. So he tried to draft his own baby in the 10th round. Unfortunately, the NBA voided all of these picks for not meeting league guidelines. Damn, the NBA ruined all the fun. But that's nothing new, cause for number six, there's no way you knew that the NBA bans everything cool. Like in 2018, players started rocking ninja style headbands and they look sick. Well, guess what, banned. Or how about some baggy shorts? Nope, banned. Okay, well what about the black face mask that literally made LeBron look like Batman? Nah, I'm sorry, banned. The NBA got rid of them all cause they didn't fall in line with the NBA's dress code. Man, I swear, some rules are meant to be broken. And that's especially the case for number five. 
Because what if I told you there's a loophole in the NBA rule book that could give a team infinite timeouts? See, NBA teams are given seven timeouts per game, but after they've used them all, they're technically still able to call timeouts, only they'll be charged with a technical foul. And in the 1976 finals, the Suns became the only team in NBA history to use this trick. Because with one second on the clock, down by one, and no legal timeouts left, the Suns decided to take a risk by calling a timeout anyways and getting a technical foul, which put them down by two. But with that timeout, they drew up a play and did this. Won't start until it's touched, they'll have to throw it up. Go ahead, turn around, shot in the air. Ah! It's good! It's tied again! I don't believe, I don't believe it! Garfield hurt at the buzzer, threw one in outside. We've got a third overtime at a Boston Garden. It's 112, 112. Damn. That rule is broken, but Michael Jordan is unstoppable. Cause for number four, you might not have known that MJ was so powerful, he could create his own rules. See, back when Jordan was in the NBA, he was addicted to hooping, and playing in games and practicing with the Bulls just wasn't enough. But typically, NBA players are strictly forbidden from balling outside of work, so he used the leverage of literally being Michael Jordan to work an exclusive clause into his contract called the Love of the Game Clause, which made MJ the first player in NBA history that was allowed to play ball whenever and wherever he wanted. He could play in anything from pickup games to exhibition games, including building the Jordan Dome, a portable indoor court and gym that Jordan could use on the set of Space Jam. Jordan tells Warner Brothers that in order to do the movie, he'll need a place on the lot to play basketball. The producers suggest putting up hoops and painting lines on a parking lot near set. Instead, on top of that parking lot, they build the Jordan Dome, a state-of-the-art pop-up basketball palace. It has a full basketball court, a locker room with showers, a weight room, big screen TVs, a card table, and even a putting green. Damn, this man Jordan can really do whatever he wants. But look, dog, we're in the top three, which means we're going deep in our bag. And we gotta talk about how the Warriors got someone fired over a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. See, for years, it's been a tradition for NBA teams to have PB&J before every game. But back in 2015, the Warriors hired a nutritionist, Lachlan Penfold, who said, nah, no more sugar. And uh, the team immediately revolted. Things got so bad, coaches even got involved. So after weeks of complaints, the nutritionist finally cracked, allowing PB&Js every once in a while. But this still wasn't enough for the team, cause as soon as the season ended, they got the guy fired. Yeah, the man got jammed all over some PB and J's. Ridiculous. But it's still not as crazy as number two, cause I bet you had no idea that you can watch NBA games in virtual reality. Yeah, uh, back in 2018, the NBA announced they were going virtual, which means anyone with a VR headset can watch live games courtside from anywhere. Look at that. Right. Oh. oh! You notice everything down here. Yeah. These seats are ridiculous. But in 2023, the NBA took things a step further, allowing fans to put themselves in the game. Stan, kind of put your hands down this way a little bit. Right is, is any of this going to hurt? No, no, no. I'm going to uh, walk around you and just scan your body, right? Yep. All right. All right. I got it. All right, all right you ready? Yep. All right, so go ahead and roll that. <laughs> There's that shirt. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> God damn. I can dunk on LeBron from my couch. That's why. But number one is straight up insane. Because there's no way you knew that the NBA has some of the craziest arenas. I mean, the Sacramento Kings have smart seats where fans can use an app to warm or cool down their seats. And the Timberwolves, they have an entire grass field on their roof. Yeah, and this thing is actually saving the environment by storing over a million gallons of rainwater a year. But look, nothing comes close to the Memphis Grizzlies arena because from 2001 to 2004, they used to play games in a pyramid. The Grizzlies are living like pharaohs. That's crazy. 
fun, not as crazy as the time LeBron took a step back three, only for the ball to get stuck on the rim. Yeah, it turns out the NBA is full of rare moments, like Dwight Howard dunking so hard he brought down the shot clock or Westbrook losing the ball, and then magically it goes in the basket. Look, if you want to see more moments like these, you need to click on this video right here. These are one in a million NBA moments. And uh, this video is over, so you might as well just click it. It's, it's a fire video, alright?